Hey guys, it's Seho. Just kind of wanted to take you on a little walk through my little oasis um, evening garden um, because of how much I love it. So uh, I'll show you around. grass behind that second tree out there is um, about four feet tall. Today I started just this side of this tree and got that much done. I'll probably try to go all the way to this Russian olive in the corner. And then I just have a patch right over there at the corner at the end across on the other side of my driveway. But uh, you can kind of see the sort of border it made around the yard from where we didn't mow it for about four years and I'm just tired of it looking yucky so that's one of the projects and then over here you can see I've got um I think there's a willow and a Russian olive growing together over here maybe that's just new growth on the Russian olive in fact that is what that is what that is so you got the Russian olive we got this big beautiful willow and then these are two smaller willows that 
The little tiny one I think just needs to be cut back because it's not producing any sort of um, leaves or anything. And then this big one, well this little, little big one, needs at least a limb taken off of it because it's, uh, it's just kind of dying, damaged from, we had record snowfall this winter. See, there's a little branch that needs to come down. And that Russian is probably okay. That inclement weather last winter, sorry, my dog's barking, I'm not gonna be able to stop that. Um, knock that big tree down on the other side of the fence, that's a cottonwood. And then these two big beautiful cottonwoods need to be setting, but I'm gonna have to get the landlord to come do that because I'm not doing it or paying for it. I'm so allergic to them, but they are such beautiful trees. And then, let's see, that Russian owl is probably fine. And then, that's a cottonwood, that's a baby cottonwood. And a stump of a tree that was taken out before we moved in. And then, I'll have to look it up. Maybe I'll put a screen grab or look it up, whatever this weed is. I think it's pretty, and allegedly it's edible. But I think I need to come through and just pull it out or knock it down with a hand trimmer. Oh, and speaking of trimmer, that's what I wanted to tell you about the mowing. Here, here's a good example of how high that grass is. That mower I'm using is actually a trimmer. It's a Husqvarna. Something, 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 something. It's actually just a trimmer. And it works awesome to knock that high grass down. These orange flags are markers. I can't remember how far apart. You probably can't even see the dang things all the way across the yard. But, um, a diagonal line that way, like, like through to the back behind the pickup. There's those orange flags, and they are archery target markers. And then, oh, the other tree of the well house is an apple tree. And there's a branch hanging down on it because it's split. I thought I saved it, but it's split during that snowfall. Look at this. Ruger, my hound over in the corner there, he's tethered to a fence post in the middle of the yard and he's barking at the neighbor's dogs, which are way over there. But anyway. I'm not going to do anything with this well house because we don't own this property. So I'm all about Jess at Roots and Refuge says about a legacy. But you see, here's the damage on the tree. It's pretty sad. But like I said, legacy. But it's not my responsibility. They should be fixing these things. See, the cinder blocks are just getting knocked out. But what I did do. I dug some of this out of my mom's yard and then I had to wait too long because I didn't have a spade. Part of my problem is I have to borrow tools from my dad all the time because I don't have anything. But this is um, called Ground Elder and it's a ground cover and I'm wanting to take up over here and then this fall I'll plant hollyhocks too for my mom's garden. But anyway, I did a lot of research because you can see we're right on the field where they put their cattle sometimes they graze longhorns and it is not toxic but clear back across on this side of the yard another legacy crop that I planted is mint out of my mom's yard that we just call it mountain mint mountain mint I guess and because my mom dug it up off the mountain in like 1996 right when she bought her house put a tire around it to protect it. Oh, I wanted to show you the rhubarb that I found too. You see, it's taken off already, so that's good. And I don't really care if it takes over this whole yard. Let's see, I'll just clean it out. So there's the stump right there, and right there's that little baby cottonwood tree. And right off the edge of it is a tire, because when I was knocking down the high grass over there and finding all the cool stuff, there is a rhubarb plant growing. So I put a tire around it so it doesn't get mowed down either. Anyway, I'm not a fan of rhubarb, but I think that we should keep it. This tree got topped. Oof, you can't even tell that it got topped in that snowstorm. And then this is my, I'll probably just make a video of it, but this is my compost pile that I haven't really been even using because I, I need to get it built. Because I hope it's going to be much longer. And then this 
this is the dog's swimming pool. I move it every couple of days so we don't kill off glass. The river drinks out of it and Cody plays in it. And then one more legacy plant I dug up from my mom, the bank of mine. It's a very good grail cover. I'm hoping I'll get a better angle here that it'll take over and grow all along the house there. Hey, buddy. Come here. Say hi, bud. <laughs> you can see here. Volunteer sunflower. Last summer I planted just all along here sunflowers because I had this big vision of let me step back and I'll show you all these beautiful sunflowers popping up. Don't mind my mess, I have a plan with all that, but all these beautiful sunflowers popping up and growing up alongside that house there. But they didn't grow, not a single one of them even sprouted. And I had one sprout this year. Let's see if I can remember since I so eloquently did not mark any of this stuff. This green pot right here, I planted some foxglove seeds in. Now mind you, today is the 28th of June. I probably did this on the 26th, 27th. No, I did not do this yesterday, so it must have been the 26th. But I don't care. I planted foxglove in there. Got some hens and chicks I got from. My mom sucks. Um, I love this wash type planter. Um, on this side, sorry, on this side I planted Canterbury bells. And let's see on this. Oops, that's okay. On this side I planted Azania mix because I don't care. I want it to just grow and be beautiful. There's marigolds in here. I'm kind of a seed hoarder and I'm trying to stop myself from doing that. So. Here's my pots that I need to, oops, here's my pots that I need to do something with. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with that stuff. Put it back here so it doesn't look so trashy from the road. But let's see. Green flower vine in that big one. And, ooh, I don't remember what it's called, cardinal runner or something in that one. That one has a wild pollinator mix and four o'clocks in the sturgeons. And then I just spray painted these cans, as you can see right here. I kind of got in trouble for doing that by my boyfriend. He said I should put cardboard down, but I spray painted those six cans because I have some pretty sunflowers that I'm going to plant in those. And then these are geraniums. There's actually, I don't know if this looks silly or great, but. It works pretty good. There's geraniums in those blue pots and solar lights to light the stairs because that solar light receiver got trashed. So solar lights to light the stairs, geraniums in the blue pot, and then that red pot at the bottom has uh, more hens and chicks in it. Those ones did not come from my mom's house, but what's the difference, man? And here, Maybe I can insert some footage that I took last year when I was thinking I was going to start this kind of stuff. We always get these huge, annoying weeds that grow in here. I'll show you some right here. It was called a common mellow. And uh, I used to think that's where toads came from when I was a little girl. And they have kind of a pretty beautiful flower on them, but they are viney and they take over your dirt and they have big carrot-like roots and look, you can't even get them out. I spent last Sunday pulling out all the weeds out of there and then I collected all these rocks except for there's some big huge huge rocks like that agate right there that we found and brought here but all these other rocks I pulled out of just our driveway honestly um, it got all disrupted we had to get dug out. I'll show some of the snow drifts. But we, um, it was just tore up and they got some dirt over it. All this rock I put in here. And I'm doing the cracks in the sidewalk too. Well, my boyfriend brought home some poison and uh, poisoned all these weeds for me. I'm not a fan of that, but uh, something's gotta be done. And I'm gonna just eventually rock all of that, all of this area, even where the chickens are, cause they're moving. And then 
all down here and you can see where I've been pulling weeds. Um, I grew my potatoes in this bed last year, but I'm gonna probably just grow them in a mineral bucket this year. Um, he sprayed those for me so that I can just rake them out when they die because that was taking a lot out of me. And then let's see, here's my pretty petunias. And I always like to grow these moss roses. I can't remember what else they're called. I think they're about to bloom again for me, it looks like. And then some more marigolds. And then this thing's super cool. It is not a it is not a green stock. It's just a dollar store version, and I got just seven tiers. Actually, my mama bought them for me. But I got just seven tiers, and I've got them. These are called painted lady beans. And they're gonna be hot pink, I guess. I'll find some footage of when I started planting one of these cool urn looking planters last year. And then I let the grasshoppers kill them because I got discouraged, but I've got. One, two, three, and then one in the middle. And then I think, wow, oh, that's good for spinach. You got a spinach, actually, that I planted in the top. I had actually done this one. Spinach, butter, lettuce, opal, basil, a different kind of lettuce, regular basil, and a different, like, butterhead lettuce. Some stuff didn't grow because, like I said, I hoard seeds and seeds were old. So I just threw a bunch of random lettuce in all the spots that didn't grow anything. But look at this butter lettuce. Locally grown butter lettuce. And then my basil. Those ones are looking good. I had six started spinach plants and I didn't do well by them, so they're struggling. I think that's the only one that's even left alive. So. There's that many shingles that came off the roof in that storm. And then this wood's gonna go either to my permanent coop or the wood pile to burn. This is cruel because I didn't bring any treats. That's Yolandi. She hates me. She's my favorite and she hates me. She is an Americana. Ruger's gonna bark at us because he hates what I'm going here about him. Kirby, you stay back, girl. Black ones are the French, black, French coffee, black morans. Look, 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 look. And that's Prince. She's a lavender Orpington. This brown chicken is an olive egg. That one's pepper pots. And that's Alexi and Alexa. Morgan Stark. And I have one more black Americana named she Kendall Jenner. Yeah, she, uh, uh, these girls, they're mad because I didn't bring treats, and usually I do bring something good to them. <sighs> anyway, this is their little home. Kirby, I think, would murder them if she could. She wants in here so bad. But, uh, funny story, when I first moved the big girls in, the Olive Eggers and the Alondi, the Americana, um, they were in a dog crate, and I was trying to get them to come out of it, and they wouldn't come out, and I kind of forced them out and then there was a snake in here and I chased it all the way to that corner and climbed up under the siding and probably still in there I don't know sorry girls I'll bring you some treats in a little bit what's cool about these olive eggers is I wanted to know why they looked the way they do because they're actually pretty cool looking little raptor birds huh and I found out that they are I found out that their genetics are crested cream leg bar and well symbols. And it has to be the dad if it's the crested cream leg bar and the mom that's the welcomer. Otherwise, they will look different than this one I hatched, I guess. Allegedly, I can throw in some footage of, not some footage, a picture I found of that. And then this is just like some chain link dog kennel that I got from my brother and sister in law when they moved out of their house. And I have a whole bunch more of it too. And another gate for it. And, uh,. My friend's husband actually made that kind of coop thing. That's made out of an old welding table and some of that plexiglass. It's really thick. And he made that for a goose they had. 
funny chickens. But the goose is gone now, so we gave them. Okay. Are you trying to run away? Are you trying to escape into the road? Kirby's out of breath and kicking her brother's butt. And we're just sneaking off to peek at the chickens. I just want to take a minute and show you guys. I'll uh, link to Amazon and show you, but I got these on Prime Day for I think $6.99. But it's a 12 package of solar lights. It's the same ones you get for a dollar at Family Dollar. As you can see, I have some. I was just gonna put these together and stick them in the ground somewhere just to charge up so that maybe tomorrow I can figure out what I wanna do with the rest of them. Mostly along that path, I'm guessing.